Hey everybody, Cougar here, back for more adventures in the amazing underwater survival game, Subnautica. Today, after coming back from our visit to the floating island, where we scanned the multi-purpose room, it seems like it's about time to start expanding our base. So let's do that today. Now, knowing that this was what we were going to be doing today, I went and did some advanced preparation, which basically involved gathering up a lot of titanium and quartz and other basic materials from our from the the safe shallows area I'm just going to turn the lights off here when you load a saved game with the seamoth in it uh, right now the headlights will be on every time you load even if you saved and left the game with the headlights off so just make sure you turn those off so you're not running down your battery all right so this this is what we've got for a base right now and it's pretty sparse. There's not much to it. Uh, my bases tend to be pretty utilitarian. I don't, I, I only make what I need and nothing more. Uh, well, I'll not build this base that way because for reasons, you know, I just want to be able to demonstrate a bunch of stuff. All right. So just notice that no matter what direction, if you use a top hatch like this, and of course you can also build side hatches, like that, so that they can either be on the top or on the side. But if you're going to build side hatches like or top hatches like this, notice that whatever direction you enter from, you're always going to end up facing the same way. So it makes sense to build something important, something that you know you're going to use a lot, right here. And that, for me, is a fabricator. Now I already have the materials that I need to build this, which is, oops which is titanium gold and table coral sample. So let's build ourselves a fabricator here. Now as soon as we have a fabricator down, we're going to have to start thinking about our power. We don't have um, a lot of power supply right here. So we are going to go out and slap down a couple more solar panels. Now solar panels have their drawbacks, obviously. The biggest one being that they only recharge during the daytime. Uh, so eventually we are going to want some additional sources of power. Right now we only have the bioreactor uh, blueprint available to us. We may end up building a bioreactor. We'll see. But for now, I think four solar panels are going to give us as much power as we're going to need at this point in the game. You really got to start thinking about the additional power sources once you start building more power the power hogs like the moon pool which we do not have the uh, blueprint for yet or say um, a water filtration plant something like that which is going to continually suck power but for now let's just start expanding the base I'm just going to kind of build it haphazardly just in the interests of demonstrating uh, some basic building so here we have an eye compartment now, one thing I wanted to demonstrate was vertical connectors. I hear a lot of people wondering how those work. Uh, let's make one of those right now just for the purposes of demonstration. So here's a vertical connector that requires two times titanium. We're going to put it over the center piece of any of these compartments. So you see it snaps to build there. And then we can build a compartment on top of it. Now notice our, our base hull strength is getting fairly low already. I'm just doing this for the purposes of demonstration. Our base hull strength is now at 5.5. We could start seeing breaches here at any moment. If I head inside, so now we have a vertical connector there, but in order to make use of it, we're going to need to build a ladder, which requires two times titanium. Now if you point right up at the ceiling there, you should get a prompt to build a ladder. Now we have a vertical connector that takes us right up into that top piece that we built. Okay? And it's a quick climb. Very quick getting up and down. Alright. That was just for the purposes of demonstration, but we can actually use... 
I think what we need to do here is slap down a hull reinforcement piece. I'm worried about doing too much expansion without keeping an eye on our base strength. We don't want to be springing leaks and stuff. To build reinforcement, I'm going to need a piece of lithium. And I'm not sure where I've stored my lithium, so we'll just look around real quick. It's going to be in one of these. Not that one. Not that one. There's some lithium. Pick up a couple of pieces of those just so I have it on me. And then help back, head back out here. Again, watch for the white text in the upper left-hand corner that's going to give us our hull, base hull strength. We will add plus nine, or excuse me, plus seven to our base hull strength with a reinforcement. We're now at 12.5. That's going to allow us to expand a bit more. All right, let's put down another eye compartment here. And then I would like to start thinking about building multi-purpose rooms. The thing is that we want to be able to stack those multi-purpose rooms once we get them. And I don't see a lot of room to stack lower here. So let's build another uh, foundation. I need two times lead for that. I have some. Let me just grab it real quick. Again, I, I haven't, I don't have these lockers sorted because I just moved everything around in order to accommodate this little building spree we're going to go on here. So it might take me a minute to find these things. I'm going to pick up a bunch of lead and just see, is there any spare titanium for me to pick up here? There was a bunch in one of these. Well, there's some anyway. So yeah, I loaded up my inventory and my supplies, my lockers with uh, titanium and quartz in anticipation of doing this. So now we should be able to build a multi-purpose room, which requires six times titanium. That is going to be a little bit tricky to find a spot for. In fact, mm, oh, we were going to build a foundation first, right? Right. Foundation out here. And then I think we don't... We don't need this second basic compartment, and that's going to mess with where our uh, multipurpose room goes. So let's get rid of that. Now we should be able to build a multipurpose room here. And since we know already know that we're going to want to stack them, let's build another one. That's exactly. That is exactly what I'm going to do, and I want to build this. As long as I know I'm going to want to stacked, let's build that second one immediately to make sure that everything's going to line up properly. All right. Great, now let's go inside and check out our new multi-purpose rooms. Sweet, so much space to move around. And now again, we are going to need a ladder here. Uh, the ladders should snap in. If you aim up at the top, you can build them along the edges of the multi-purpose room. Uh, here's our top multipurpose room. This will be our bedroom and workspace. We'll probably put a desk up here, plants and so on. And so on. Uh, speaking of plants, that is one of my top priorities after building a fabricator. And in fact, keep in mind that, as we said before, when you come through the hatch, you're always going to be facing the same way. I like to build a little plant pot here and put marble melons in it since that is probably the most well-rounded food source in the game. Wait, those were my marble melons in there. Use the planter. Right-click to switch container. Do not accidentally left-click and consume that rotten marble melon. And then immediately you want to cut one of them and plant the seeds. I will do that again somewhere else. Let's see where's another good place. 
Now we're eventually going to build something in this room that will take up the entire center of the, uh, center of the room. So I don't want to start cluttering up the center of the room. But I can build off here to the side of the entrance without causing too much obstruction. Oh, I ran out of titanium. But we can put our other marble melon in there. Again, right click to switch container. Do not accidentally left click and eat it. It is rotten. Will not be good for you. And then right click to plant those pieces, those marble, mel mar marble melon seeds. I need more titanium already. Not there. Not there. We got all of it from out of there. Wow, are we out of titanium already? I've got two pieces here. That's it. We're going to have to go hunt for more. Yep, that's it for titanium. So we've got just enough. Well, these uh, multipurpose rooms take six times titanium each, and we built 12 of them. Uh, excuse me, we built two of them, so that means we used uh, 12 of those. 12 pieces of titanium just on those multipurpose rooms. Uh, now we want to find where our other planted stuff is. I guess we only need that bulbo tree. There. That's all we have space for at this point. And right click to move it into the container. And now we are growing our own bulbo tree and our own marble melons. And we can be planting even more stuff. If Do we have enough titanium? No, we don't. To continue planting more stuff? No. But we can always go out and get more. Let's see, what else might we want to do here? Well, we need more titanium because there's stuff I want to build in on that second floor of the, uh, the multi-purpose room in terms of a bed and some other stuff. Uh, that we're going to need titanium for. So why don't I just zip around real quick and try to pick up some titanium and we will resume our constructor, our base construction activities in just a moment. All right, we are back at the life pod, and I am here breaking down the metal salvage that I just picked up in the life pod, just because it's it's what I consider spam crafting. It isn't. It's breaking stuff down. It's not building stuff. So why not just take advantage of the self powering, the self recharging power cells on the life pod to do this kind of brainless deconstruction. Alright, sun's going down, but we have done some good work on our base already. Got that vertical connector demonstrated. Got the multipurpose rooms installed. Now what I want to do is start kitting out my living area. So to do that, we will... First, we need a bed. Ah, we need fiber mesh to build a bed. We can build a desk, though. Let's do that. And a chair to sit in, which is important. Now, they say this chair swivels, but it doesn't really. 
So you gotta, ooh, see, now I'm sitting down, and now I can pull up my PDA and review my data bank entries without losing food or water. My food and water is not going down while I'm seated. So it's, this is a great place to sit and read all your entries at your leisure without worrying, having to worry about food or water. Uh, fiber mesh to make my bed. Uh, I'm going to need some creep vine samples. Do I have room in my inventory to pick those up? No, because I've got all this titanium. Um, let's see, what can we build up here that's going to burn some titanium? We could build an interior grow bed and plant a bunch more fo food in here. You know what, I would, just for aesthetic, I, I don't find these uh, interior grow beds very aesthetically pleasing. So instead, let's just build a, a series of plant pots. Uh, let's make them all the same style. And then plant some stuff in these. See, this is going to take up about the same amount of room as that exterior, that interior grow bed. But it's a little more pleasing on the eye, maybe. Alright, now let's go down and get our... our foods. And the last thing... Oh, yeah, we've also got all this fun stuff that I can place up there. Ba -ba -ba. Where did I put all the food I brought back from the island with me? Well, that's for an exterior grow bed. That's a bulb bush sample. Here's another bulbo tree. And we should have Chinese potatoes around here somewhere. Chinese potatoes and a lantern fruit. Great. Another thing we're going to want up here is another way out. Um, we are going to want a, a second hatch up here. Do I have a piece of quartz to do that? No, I'm going to have to go back down and do that. But we can plant a bulbo tree and a Chinese potato and a lantern fruit. And then when those get grown, we can cut those for seeds and fill up the other pots with them. All right, let me grab a piece of quartz. Not there. And yeah, there's one piece of quartz. In order to make a hatch up here, make exiting and entering a little bit easier. What am I missing? I am missing, oh I need two, no I was just not on the right spot. All right, now we have a hatch. And we can swim over to the creep vines, which should be right over here. Grab some of those and make fiber mesh and then make a bed. And then the last thing I wanted to do, as I was, I'm gonna just eat some of those. Run a little low on food and water. Eat a couple more of those and bring a couple more back. Ooh, I killed that creep vine. Sorry, creep vine, didn't mean to do that. So the last thing I wanted to do, if we have enough titanium left to do it, was to build an exterior grow bed, which is under exterior modules. I have two times titanium, I can build one. And then we can start planting all sorts of things in there. Farming area plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Oh, that sounds delicious. Tree roaches and stank fruit. Why can't we have stank fruit? So just to demonstrate, I'm just going to go over here and grab a couple of creep vine seeds. And my inventory is full. Shoot. Right, we'll drop those. Sun's starting to come up. Yeah, I'm 
going to get a warning for you need to drink something soon, so let's drink something. And then click on the planter, right click now to switch container because Subnautica. Welcome and then aboard, Captain. we wanted that rotten bull bush sample, which we can take out here. And now we'll start our bull bush farm. Look at the little baby bull bush, isn't it cute? So adorable. And the last thing we wanted to do was use our brand new fabricator to craft up some fiber mesh from two times green fine samples. And then run upstairs. Do I still have any titanium? I still have plenty of titanium left. I said run upstairs and build ourselves a bed. Okay. Beds are here. I'm going to make a double bed because I'm a big boy. Large grown man. Why doesn't it want me to build here? Ugh, it wants me to build out in the freaking middle of the room, which I'm not going to do. There we go. It's a little bit in the way. Here, maybe it's a little bit better. Come on! I just saw it flash green. There we go. All right, nice new double bed. And one more thing to build because we all need coffee. You look like you could use some coffee. I do look like I could use some coffee. Thank you. Let's get some coffee. All right, we are we've got the beginnings of a nice little bedroom here. So if I make some wall shelves. Hmm, how about over the bed? <laughs> Thank you. And maybe we'll have a little research area over here with a counter. Let's make it over here. And now if I bring up some of that cool stuff that I found on the Aurora, like posters, a miniature, blue cap, Gorge toy, all that fun stuff. Now I can decorate my bedroom a little bit by putting them, equipping them into one of the slots. Put one in each slot. And then we can put this ugly ass poster over. No, we don't want to put it there. Put one here. How about there? That looks like a good place. It won't let me put it there. Or there. For some reason. There we go. I was just pushing the wrong button. Right click to place it down. And now we can put our Aurora miniature here. And a baseball cap. Maybe next to the bed. And our Gorge toy. How about Gorge toy sits on the bed? Yay! All right, some other things that we could be doing here. If we keep an eye, we're going to have to keep an eye on the structural integrity, but we could put some windows down. We have not built a single window yet. And I pre-prepped some glass here somewhere so that we could do that. I should probably pick up some lithium in case we need to, because putting in glass windows is going to dramatically lower the base's hull integrity. So we want to keep an eye on that as we build windows. Now I need to put this stuff back where it's supposed to be. And let's see, we'll build a window over here. Only one piece of glass. And maybe one over here. Hull strength now at nine. Not great. Why don't we, we're going to dedicate two spots downstairs to having um, reinforcement panels on them. 
Hmm. Hmm. All right. There, and I guess over here. I need one more piece of titanium, which I don't think I even have. No, we already looked. We don't have any extra titanium. All right. Well, well, that'll that'll actually do it. I think then. Got three windows upstairs looking in on our ni our nice new bedroom. We've got one reinforcement panel downstairs. I already had one attached, so we're getting the benefits of two reinforcement panels right now. Uh, I wonder, did I... Ah, uh, the wall planter was out on the mountain island, or excuse me, the floating island, and I didn't scan it when I was out there. We'll see another one, or we'll be back out to the mountain, to the floating island again at some point. But for now, uh, I think that does it as far as base expansion. We have some stuff that we can build now that we've got the room to build it, such as the modification station. I want to be able to build, I want to build that uh, as quickly as possible. But I don't have the ingredients for it already, I th don't think. We can check that out really quickly by going to our blueprints and looking for the mod station. probably passed it. It was back down there, wasn't it? Yeah. There it is. I need a computer chip, diamond, and lead. I sort of have everything I need to do that, but I can do that in the next episode or on my own. For now, we're, we're starting to expand the base. Doesn't look terrible. I'll probably take this down because I don't really need it at this point, and it's just lowering the base hull integrity. I really just did that to demonstrate how the vertical connector works. Uh, eventually, we're going to build a moon pool off of here, and uh, another power plant somewhere in here. Right now, I can only build the bioreactor. I would That's not my favorite power source. I would prefer to have a nuclear reactor in there, or use a thermal reactor. But for now, that does it as far as getting our base going. Doesn't look too bad. Gives us a place to sleep, to pass the night. Gives us a place to sit down and read stuff. Gives us places to plant stuff so that we can grow our own food. And it gives us a little place to rea rea relax. And most importantly, it gives us coffee. Which, once you order some coffee, it pops right down into your inventory and gives you plus four H2O. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll be continuing to do more Subnautica videos. Stay safe. Stay dry.